A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I want A plus English, that's so much fun, English education, for you and everyone, so come along. Learn some grammar, learn a phrase, learn something new every day, learn the A plus way. It's time to start the show. Are you ready? Good plus, here we go. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I want A plus English. Hi, everyone. Welcome to the show. I'm Tiffany. I'm Chickling. <laughs> And we are talking about the Olympics. Woohoo! I'm so excited. I love watching the Olympics. What about you? you? Uh, yeah, I only watch it when I'm with my dad. Ah, I think okay. it's more interesting because you have someone to discuss with. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like family members. Yeah. So yeah, this leads me to um, I have a warm up question for you. What do you know about the Olympic Games? So I think this is a really big sports event mm -hmm. that maybe happens. Once every two years, I think it's uh, four years. Oh, four years! I it seems like it's two years because we have the summer and winter. Ah, yeah. Okay, okay. So it's once every four years. Yeah. So okay. like the summer games is once every four years. Winter games is once every four years. But it, you know, they they yeah, kind of like it seems like it's two years. Okay. Yes, but super cool. Um, I know that it originated in Greece. Oh like yeah, the ancient early, Greece. Yeah. The early Olympics happened in Greece, mm -hmm. but yeah, this year we're gonna be looking at the. The new Olympics, which is happening in Paris, so let's take a look at the article to learn a bit more about it. A guide to the 2024 Paris Olympics. Warm-up question: What do you know about the Olympic Games? This year, the 33rd Summer Olympic Games will take place in Paris, France. It will last from July 26th to August 11th. The mascots for the games are the Frige. They look like red caps and stand for freedom. To make these Olympics eco-friendly, the host will only build a few new buildings. They'll make use of some sites around the city to hold the games. Two of them are the Eiffel Tower and the Grand Palais. All right, let's learn a bit about our uh, Summer Olympic Games. It's the 33rd Summer Olympic Games. The article says this year the 33rd Summer Olympic Games will take place in Paris, France. Okay, we talked about this. We quite like watching the Olympics, and especially with friends and family, it's a mm. lot more fun. What are some of your favorite sports to watch? Swimming, swimming, running. Yeah, swimming is always quite exciting. Soccer, maybe. I, I like to watch soccer with my dad because my dad is. Oh. A <laughs> No. I didn't know no. I was just thinking about it. But my dad would like comment on oh. um, the, the way they do it. And uh -huh. like, it's so fun. I just like listen. Maybe I your like dad has funny dad. commentary. We need to like have him like do a live and like Maybe listen to. Maybe we should. Yeah. yeah. I like watching gymnastics too. Oh, that's okay, really fun. Okay, yeah. Like maybe like some of the marsh, like the judo. Uh -huh, that's like pretty uh -huh. cool oh, yeah, too. That's really cool. There's a lot of really cool sports to watch during mm -hmm. the Olympics. I love watching them. Um, next, the article says, it will last from July 26 to August 11. The mascots for the games are the Frige. Okay, I'm trying my best to do my French uh, reading, so this word should be uh, pronounced Frige. Here we see the word mascot, and basically a mascot is an animal, human, or even object that brings good luck or um, to represent a school, country, or company. So, for example, um, Michelin, the guy, <laughs> is actually the mascot for the tire brand Michelin, or like Mickey Mouse is a mascot for Disney. Um, sometimes, like during sports games, you'll see that maybe like an NBA team has their own mascot, like maybe the Hawks, they will have like a hawk as the mascot. So, yeah, that's what a mascot is. So, in this this match, from July 26th to August 11th, the mascot mascot is the Jixiang Wu, 弗里吉或弗里吉亚帽，或我们可以直接叫它自由之帽。That's easier. <laughs> yeah, 真的是 easier. Okay, so what are they? It, the article says they look like red caps and stand for freedom. Okay, yes.、Um, a little bit of history about these caps. The French wore this cap during the French Revolution. So yeah, I think it is actually a really great and important symbol for them. 对，所以你们知道这个他们的这个吉祥物。看起来像什么呢？看起来就像红色的帽子，然后它其实就是象征着自由的意思。嗯、mm, ，I think it's quite different than the the beret 
like the、mm. French barrette. So it looks kind of different than that.、Um, here, the article says to make these Olympics eco-friendly, the host will only build a few new buildings. Okay, when you're trying to be eco-friendly, it just means to be environmentally environmentally friendly, and we try not to waste things or create too much garbage. And yeah, I mean, I guess like a city like Paris, they already have so many beautiful buildings, and I'm sure they have enough like facilities already. So I wonder where they're going to host these events. Yeah, don't know. Yeah, like, do you think it's important for the Olympic Games to be eco-friendly? Especially now in this day and age, right? Yeah, I think it's definitely very important, and you know, because it's a really important game.、Mm. So it's like it's setting a good example for、yeah. people around the world. We like, know that it's important to take care of the planet and our environment. Yeah, because I know, like sometimes, like some countries when they host the events, like they might build new buildings and、oh. like maybe that's a lot of materials that costs a lot you know, of money yeah, too. Yeah, money being spent, maybe a lot of materials、mm. that might be. I don't want to use the word wasted, but then like, kind of like wasting it.、Sure. So yeah, maybe it's a good way for Paris to show that hey, we can also do things in a very eco-friendly way.、Mm-hmm. All right, so let's continue reading.、Um, they'll make use of some sites around the city to hold the games. Yeah, so I think that'd be really cool. Like, can you imagine like people, or can you imagine the gymnastics, the sport being like you know. Compe- uh, competing in front of like gymnastics, being com- in in front of the Louvre or something, that'd be really really cool. Yeah. So,、um, I think you know, besides the Olympics、um, or work a World Cup,、mm-hmm. um, what are some other ways for these big events to be more eco friendly? What else do you think they can do besides using buildings they already have? Maybe they can like put. Recycling bins as much as they can, like <laughs>、yeah. on the venue, or maybe they can like <laughs> let people recycle things on the spot and contribute it to、uh, something. I don't know if that would be possible, but、mm. I think that'd be that'd be kind of cool. All right, so where are these games being held? The article says two of them are the Eiffel Tower, of course, and the Grand Palais. Okay,、mm. basically, palais should mean like palace, I think, in French. Yeah, so the Grand Palais is a very Famous museum and exhibition hall that's completely made out of glass, and it's really, really beautiful. So if you are in Paris, you can definitely visit this site. I think that would be such a cool place to play. I don't know taekwondo. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> What other、um, landmarks do you think we will see in France?、Um, What about a sporting event in, at the Palace of Versailles? I don't know. I I feel like for me, like every building in Paris、so、looks beautiful, so beautiful, right? Yeah, it's, it's I know. A very good option. I don't know. Like I think it'd be kind of fun to go visit then and to see these. I don't know. Or maybe it's better to see it on TV. You don't have to squeeze with everyone, right? That's true. That's true. <laughs> it'd be really cool to be to be looking at watching to be watching everything in person though. Yeah, and see Gila. I don't know. For the first time, men and women will have the same number of players. Taiwanese players will join different kinds of games, such as taekwondo, swimming, and more. Let's cheer for them! All right, let's continue reading our article. For the first time, men and women will have the same number of players. Okay, so now it's more like gender equality, huh? Okay, 很棒，这个我很喜欢，因为、oh. 我很在意，我是很在意女权的人。Yeah, <laughs> I actually I never knew that this was a problem before. I I've think always... I've heard of it. I was kind of mad about it. Oh really?、Yeah. Okay, because I've always thought it was like, oh, um, you know, the best players or the best athletes compete, right?、Mm. And I just. Yeah, I didn't know that it was a big issue or you know a really huge issue now, but it's good. More females represent, please. Very good, very good. Next, the article says Taiwanese players will join different kinds of games such as Taekwondo, swimming, and more. Yes, Taiwan represent. Very good. So, actually, I really like this. You know, you know, today, you know, this time, 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 他们是第一次，男生跟女生，我们会有同等的那个 players，、mm. 就是玩家代表。我觉得这代表一种 fairness. Yeah, you know, that means everyone is equal, and then we get to show off like、yeah. what we have. Yeah, and I think I think it also would be kind of interesting because that means that 
in that particular sport, you need to find the best qualified, you know, men or women, or maybe they have to set their numbers mm -hmm. even lower or higher. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. So I think definitely for this year's Olympics, it will be super interesting to mm -hmm. watch. Can't wait to watch. Yeah. Lastly, the article says, "Let's cheer for them for sure." I'm definitely Team Taiwan. Me too. Yeah. Taiwan, 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 Taiwan. OK， 我们今天看一下所有的单字哦。我们今天第一个片语是 take place， 它就是发生、举行的意思。take 的动词三态呢是 take、took、taken， 所以举行一个活动呢，什么东西举行了，我们直接 take place 这个字不需要去被动语态哦。The concert will take place in the park tomorrow evening。那么过去式呢就是 took place， 比如说 the meeting took place as scheduled。所以我们再看另外一个句子。Jenny's birthday party will take place next Saturday. Jenny 的生日派对在下周六会举办。那么我们刚刚提到这个自由之帽 ，freedom， 这个就是自由的意思。它是来自于形容词 free 这一个字。那我们常常会说 feel free to do something， 就是代表说哦，你就是自由的干什么，不用不用去想想太多，就是想干嘛就干嘛的感觉。所以比如说 feel free to ask questions if you don't understand。那我们口语也会有，有时候会说 free and easy， 就是有轻松自在的感觉哦。比如说，嗯、um, ， the teacher was free and easy with his students， 代表说他对这个学生并没有很严格的要求。我们再看一个句子哦，这边是 freedom 名词。In Taiwan， people have the freedom to express their opinions。在台湾，人们有表达意见的自由。那么 host 它就是主办方、东道主的意思。比如说你举办了一个派对，那你就是 the host of the party。比如说 the host of the party welcomed all the guests warmly。那么 host 当动词也可以 ，to host an event 我们常常讲。比如说 the school will host a talent show next week。那我们再看另外一个句子 ，the host nations for the 2026 FIFA World Cup are Canada, the U.S. and Mexico。二零二六年呢，世界杯足球赛的主办国是加拿大、美国以及墨西哥。我们最后是不是说 Let's cheer for them？ 这个 cheer 就是欢呼、喝彩的意思。比如说 ，The crowd cheered loudly when the team scored a goal。那么 cheer 是动词嘛？我们常名词 cheerleader， 我们就拿来讲啦啦队员的意思。比如说 ，The cheerleader smiled and clapped to support her team。那我们再看另外一个句子。Everyone cheered when the famous actor got out of his car and waved. 这个啊、呃、很有名的演员啊、呃、下车挥手之意，大家就欢呼了起来。所以这是今天所有的单词，大家不要忘记复习哦。But right now, before we wrap up and before we end today's um article, we will take a look at our review time activity. Review time. All right, it is our review time. I guess today we can do a bit of like you know fill in the blanks. I can give you guys a sentence, and you can try to think which word fits in the sentence best.、Um, we can quickly go over the words again. I hope you guys paid attention. We have the words take place or this phrase take place.、Um, we have freedom. We have host, and we have cheer. Okay, so hopefully you paid attention to what. Chicklin said, "Teacher Chicklin said, because now it's time for us to fill in the blanks.、Yay. Let's try to do it together. Chicklin will help you out. All right, you guys ready for the first one? A country takes turn every four years to be the blank of the Olympics. What word do you think goes in here? I think we should put a noun in here. Yeah, but we only have okay for nouns. We have freedom. We have freedom and host. But if we put in freedom, it's it's not going to make any sense." So it should be to be the host of the Olympics.、Mm -hmm. 主办方 That's right. Next,、uh, a long time ago, people in America wanted blank from free. Uh, 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 <laughs> kind of give you a clue. Wanted blank from Britain. They didn't want England to rule them any longer. This one is th think, this one is complicated. But、yeah. you gave me an end. You gave me I give up. I give you a little. <laughs> <laughs> Oops. <laughs> okay, it's freedom. That's right. Okay,、freedom. they wanted to, you know, be away from Britain. They didn't want them to rule them anymore. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Next, the party will blink on Friday at seven p.m. I know this one. This one、yeah. takes place. That's right. Did you guys get it correct? And lastly, all of us went to blink 
Josh on at his basketball game to um to, go, Josh, to support、go. to support go, him. Go Josh, go.、Um, What's that called? All of us went to cheer Josh. Yes, that's right.、Uh, cheer Josh on. Yeah, at his basketball game. Yes.、Yeah. So did you guys get all of them correct? Hopefully you did. I gave you. I give you one question away. <laughs> I give one question away. <laughs> But yes, this is the Olympics is coming up, and it's going to be super exciting. Hopefully, you guys get the chance to watch. It's really a once in a lifetime event, and it's happening in Paris.、It、must be so romantic and beautiful. Yes, I'm excited. All right. Well, that's the end of our article and the end of our review time. We hope you guys enjoy the article, and we'll see you guys very soon. 对，所以今天的节目就到这边啦。如果大家想看更多精彩的内容，不要忘记到 YouTube 搜寻 A Plus English 空中美语，也别忘记按赞、订阅、开启小铃铛哦。We'll see you next time. Bye bye. You, bye. Magic Box. 哼哼哼，我最强就是是五条悟，哪有这么轻易被打败？可恨的咒灵们呢，想用陷阱困住我。别笑死人了 ！I will be back， 我马上就会回来啦。哎，你知道吗？英文里面可是有不同时态，对应不同时态也要有不同的动词变化哦。今天呢，我们就要一起来看看未来式怎么说啦。除了搭配未来时间呢、哦，例如这个明天、下礼拜、明年等等，动词呢也要有相对应的变化喽。对于未来式呢，我们有两种动词的变法哦。第一种呢，就是要搭配助动词 will， 例如呢 ，I will be back later， 我晚点就会回来啦。或者是呢 ，She will visit her grandmother next week， 她下周呢将要拜访她的阿妈。注意到，不管什么人称呢，我们都是搭配助动词 will， 而助动词后的动词呢，一定都是原形动词喽。那我们的第二种用法呢，就是呢要用去哪里的 be going to， 其实呢就是中文说的要去做什么事情的意思啦，很直觉吧？跟 will 的用法一样呢，后面呢我们要加上原形动词，表示呢你要去将要去做的事情。My coworker is going to take a break after the mission. 我的同事呢，在任务后呢，要稍作休息，或者是啊，哎呀，听说呢，这个任务非常的艰难。我的同学们呢，就说什么啦 ？My teacher is going to save us。我的老师呢，将会来救我们。没错，没错。但在去之前呢，我们还是要看看这个否定跟问句的用法喽。首先呢，否定呢，我们就加上 not 就可以啦。像是呢， he won't join us， he will not join us， 他不会加入我们。或者是呢， they are not going to surrender， 他们不会投降哦。那么问句该怎么造呢？ Yes， No 的是非题哦，我们就直接倒装咯。你会去吗？ Will you be there？ 或者是呢 ？Are you going to be there? OK， 意思是一样的、哦。那问答题的话要怎么造呢？我们就要搭配疑问词了，像是这个 When、What 等等。When will you arrive？ 你什么时候会到？或者是呢 ？What are you going to do？ 你要做什么？怎么样？够简单吧？不聊了，马上呢要去救我的学生了。